It would be like every other night. I would stay up with my sisters, watching TV and playing outside. I would always have a fun day, but when it came close to nighttime, I hated it. I always feared going to sleep. Each night, I would get dressed, brush my teeth, and say goodnight to my parents. Afterwards, I would go to my bedroom. I was always awake for ages. I could hear ringing noises, and I felt extremely hot. Too hot to go to sleep. When I would fall asleep, I would have a nightmare about this thing. A non-human type of thing. It would whisper to me, but I couldn't quite understand it. I would be extremely terrified. This lasted for three years. I had turned ten at the time. For a time, I could go to sleep without having terrifying nightmares. I was so happy. But as I thought more and more about the creature, who waited for me each night at the end of my darkest dreams, had whispered to me, I began to get nightmares again, though not as extreme. Over time, however, they grew more frightful. It was all coming back again. Then one cold and windy night, I had a horrifying night terror. I woke up in my room like I would in real life, except it was very dark. Suddenly, before I could think, a woman in black clothes looked at me. My face swung to my chest. She was stabbing me. I could hardly breathe. I thought I was dying. Still being consistently stabbed, my face was forced to the left, where a smaller girl stood, beside the woman stabbing me. Her face was completely covered by her long, black hair. She stood there, staring at me. I woke up and my mom said she heard me screaming and gasping for air. I was too afraid to tell her what was happening to me, so I told her I felt sick. The next day, there was a note by my bed. I carefully opened it, eager to see what was written on it. There it was, the woman in black and the small girl with the long fringe. My heart stopped. I rushed to my mom to show her the note, but as I ran, It began to turn into cold ink. The paper was burning, and all the ink got all over my clothes. I shouted for my mom. I looked up from my ink-covered clothes, and there, standing right in front of me was 